<laughs> Today, it's the stinkhorn mushroom. Up until this winter, I would have never in a million years imagined that you could eat a stinkhorn mushroom because if you've ever smelt one, it's like the rotting carcass of a uh, hundred animals. But apparently in the egg stage, uh, you can eat them if they're cooked properly. The easiest way to identify a stinkhorn mushroom is waiting for it to fruit and looking at the brain-like structure uh, on the top of the mushroom. It has a hollow stem and it smells. Just give it a smell and if you can't handle it, then you found yourself a stinkhorn mushroom. So there's a whole bunch of stinkhorn mushroom eggs here and none of them are fruiting yet. It's a little early, which is perfect for me since I plan to eat them. I got one egg here. It's a little squishy, very dense. Doesn't really have a smell at all. I guess it's time to cook it up. <laughs> Gooey mushroom. Ew. There you go. Sources tell me that you should swallow it whole, but we're gonna chew it for the full experience. Oh! <laughs> can you swallow it? You can spit it out. Oh, oh don't. Eat it. All right, I'm just gonna swallow it this time. Oh yeah, got it down. Max, what do you like more? Morel mushrooms or stinkhorn mushrooms? Morels. <laughs> awesome. If you guys love foraging bugs, plants, and mushrooms in the Midwest, check out some of my other videos because there's a lot of wild food that you can put in your mouth.